Why couldn't I give an answer to his question? Why did my words get swallowed away even when I knew I was right? I know I'm right, but I wish I weren't. I should have listened to them. Belief is contagious. Six billion people, hard lives, scary world, pathetic surroundings, and you know what gives them that glimmer of hope? When they close their eyes and pray to their gods. And you're saying that they're wrong? You're saying they're praying to the wrong gods? When did I say that? It's been weeks that I'm trying to make a point, and you still stick to your belief? <laughs> Why is it so important? His eyes had answers that I meant shit to him. You couldn't argue with him. I'm not kidding. He is the most dangerous guy in the world. So describe your god. <laughs> Gods. They're more beautiful than humans. They created us. They watch over us. They tell us what to do. You mean like destiny? Yes. It is like destiny. They've written everything. Whatever has to happen. Whatever you believe, you make it. What a beautiful view. What do you see? I see them dancing. That's a nice way to put it. You know what I see? How these stars are lying to us. Lying? It takes millions of years for those lights to reach us. We are actually looking at their past. <laughs> Mysterious, yet beautiful. So, who do you think made them? Of course, it's God. What? But that's what I've been trying to tell you for weeks. I never said it was your God. I said it was mine. I know you once believed in the gods that I believe in at the moment. But what changed? With them, I felt empty. What is in a god that makes him one? What do you think is in your god which makes him a god? This. The only proof telling us that he exists. Why does god need to have a form? The true beauty lies in shapeless uncertainty. My god is so beautiful that he is water without a container. Shapeless, yet flexible. He can take up any shape he wants. True creator of this beautiful world, yet so humble, mysterious like those stars. A God who created us, but did not create our destiny, lets us live in freedom. A God who is not human, becomes what you think, what you believe. But the most important thing is, you won't feel empty with him. If you think your God actually controls you, what does it make you? No different than the Britishers who controlled us. I'm perplexed, as if something just went away from my heart. But I hate to admit, that is a beautiful God. Why was I so confused? To know that, you have to listen to the other side of the story. Once upon a time, in a place which humans couldn't endeavor, there was a meeting among the gods. I knew that kid was trouble, him and his twisted beliefs. Why would a mere kid be trouble to us? You don't understand. Soon many will follow him and people will lose faith in us. We will be crushed in no time. He is right. We thrive on their beliefs. We have to kill him. No, we'll give him a chance. We will send down an angel and he will change the earthling. And so they chose one to be sent down to earth and that was me. But something different was waiting for me. He introduced me 
to his God and I was stupefied. So I know he is not right, but I wish he was. I lived all these years among the gods and now I'm starting to feel empty. But there was something magical about his God. I don't want such a belief to be destroyed and so I quit. I knew the consequences that I had to face, but all I could think of was how beautiful his God is. I returned to my place, but I was confronted by an unexpected visitor. Son! Who is this? Your God. What happened to the others? They died. How? You once believed that they existed, but do you now? You don't. So they die. Your belief is what makes you. <laughs> he was right. Ironically, I went down to change him, and instead, I got changed. Think of this the other way. What if he was sent to change you?